Are you stuck at home with nothing to do? Do you own a 3D printer but can't think of anything to print with it? Does your wife or girlfriend glare disapprovingly at you every time you mention the 3D printer that she didn't give you permission to buy in the first place? Well, I may not be able to help with the last one, but for the first two, I've made a list of 10 free and cool 3D models you can print today to add some style to your place, or even just to dull the mind-numbing repetition of not being able to leave your house. Number 10. My first suggestion of things to print is something I've needed forever, but every one of these I've printed hasn't worked out for one reason or another. This paper towel holder is pretty cool in that you can attach it to a wire shelf or the bottom of a cabinet and it doesn't need to bend to hold your paper towels in place. You just screw the dowel end into the end of the paper towel roll and you're good to go. So now I can fantasize about a day when I own paper towels again and can actually use it. Number 9. A soap dish is something I've never really needed personally, considering I prefer to use liquid soap in most situations. And it seems weird to put liquid soap in a soap dish for some reason. However, I was recently given a gift card for World Market, and among other things, I ended up buying a bar of soap with it. Or a bar of man soap? A uh, soapy man bar? No, that just sounds like a very specific kind of place. Whatever, it smells amazing and looks pretty cool on top of the soap dish in my opinion. Note, this video is not sponsored by World Market or Man Bar or anybody else for that matter. Number 8 Are you looking for a way to fight off the never-ending boredom and repetition of being stuck indoors all day? I'm not, but to be fair, this has been my lifestyle since way before social distancing became a thing. But for the rest of you, here's one pretty cool print to keep you fidgeting and occupy your mind for at least a good minute and a half. This infinity cube print is a torture test that I had to scale up to about 150% and it still had some issues, but it looks pretty cool and is fun to play with once in a while. Number 7 For the next one, to be honest, I was mostly just looking for another print to add to this list, but I'm not mad at it. I hear you, I feel you, I'm not mad at you at all. <laughs> This hyperboloid pencil holder is pretty awesome in that it can organize most of your pencils into a single location on your desk if you prefer, or if you want to do something artsy with it, you could always fill it up with pencils or dowels and rest one of those decorative balls on top like you see in random coffee table bowls in hotel rooms. Number 6 So this one is more of a generic category than a specific model, but cookie cutters like this Eric Cartman one are a great reason to put your 3D printer to work in my opinion. You can design your own if you want, or just go with one of the seemingly infinite number of cookie cutter STL options you can find online without having to wait for them to be delivered to you, assuming you can find what you're looking for in the first place. Disclaimer though, there are many people who will tell you that FDM 3D prints are not food safe, and to be fair, they're probably right, partially. For example, if you're using PLA to print a bowl or utensil, and you decide to try using it regularly to consume food, that may not be such a great idea because of the porous nature of FDM prints. The theory is that leftover food can accumulate in those pores and grow bacteria that will end up making you sick, despite your best efforts to clean the print after each use. But to be fair, wood has some of the same potential for storing food particles, and that doesn't stop people from using wooden spoons to stir their food. And you can always use some kind of food safe finish on your print to make sure that's not a problem. However, as far as claims go that using a brass nozzle to print will leach harmful toxins into your plastic that will transfer to harming you if you try to consume anything with or off of that print, I haven't seen any solid studies proving those claims. That doesn't mean that they don't exist, just that I haven't seen any. So with all of that said, a couple of things to take into consideration. If you're going to print cookie cutters with PLA, you probably want to wash it pretty well before using it, and not in a dishwasher because it will melt. And without some kind of finish, it may not be particularly reusable straight off the printer, since it will start accumulating food and bacteria the first time you use it. Number 5. For any of you planned or unplanned plant parents out there, try saying that five times fast, this hypercube vase, or vase, printed in a rare filament made by a company that doesn't exist anymore is pretty awesome looking and might make your desk or windowsill look a little more stylish. You can use it to hold some smaller plants or maybe even your favorite flowers. Number four. 
If you're like me and always looking for a way to hold stuff in place while working on a home project, this fully printed vise could be exactly what you're looking for. The vise is designed to be fully printable so there's no need to go buy any extra hardware or screws to make it work. Just print, assemble, and go. The only downside is it doesn't have a way to mount it to a table or hold the vise in place when you're using it. However, one really awesome trick that I learned thanks to watching Crimson Guitars videos is the masking tape and superglue trick, and it really comes in handy with this vise. If you're not familiar, the basic concept is this. Instead of using some crappy double-sided tape that is either too messy or too weak to hold your stuff in place effectively, you take a piece of masking tape and put it on one thing that you want to hold in place. Then you put a matching piece of masking tape on the thing that you want to stick it to. After that, you super glue the two pieces of masking tape together and now it's not going anywhere. You'd be amazed at how well this holds things in place and it's very easy to clean up. Just pull up on the vise, peel the masking tape off, and you're good to go. Number 3. This is probably pretty obvious to anybody watching my channel, but one thing you could spend time on while you're stuck indoors is printing upgrades for your 3D printer. For example, I particularly like this set of Z-axis braces for the Monoprice Maker Select V2. They got rid of a lot of the wobble in my Maker Select Z-axis and I've never had any problems with them. But no matter what your printer is, you can likely find some kind of upgrade to print to make it better. Or worse. Not all upgrades are actually upgrades, unfortunately. Number 2. If you have multiple SD cards, or just an overwhelming need to relive your childhood by recreating Mario-related paraphernalia, this question block SD card holder might be for you. In my opinion, it looks awesome. If you print it with enough infill, it feels really substantial, and the lid fits on it really nice and snug without falling off. The only real downside is, the original question marks don't really fit in the recesses as well as they're supposed to. I resized them so they fit pretty much perfectly, and you just have to super glue them in place. So I'll upload those and add a link to that model in the description below with the rest of the models. Also for you Switch owners out there, there are other variations of the same block with slots made to fit multiple Switch games instead of SD cards, so this could be a great option for keeping track of them. And number 1. This Batman headphone stand looks awesome in my opinion. And while it may be slightly creepy to have the Dark Knight sitting on your desk at all times, wearing your headphones, Where is she? at least you won't have to worry about any jokers stealing them. Boo! But seriously, I like this print a lot. There were some other superhero related headphone stands like Wolverine, but the Batman one was by far my favorite. And for a bonus print. I'm sure if you watch any other 3D printing YouTubers, you've already seen by now people recommending that you go print PPE to donate to your local healthcare workers. I fully support that trend if that's what you decide to do. I have read a few articles on the subject, and there are some things to take into consideration. One, if you're going to do this, check with your local hospital or healthcare providers to make sure that they need what you're offering to print for them. Because you don't want to waste 10 spools of filament printing something that's just going to get thrown in the trash because nobody will accept what you printed. And two, if you're trying to print the popular face shields that seem to be a big trend in the 3D printing community right now, you'll likely need some sort of sterile environment set up to make sure that what you're producing is clean and safe to use. To my understanding, most hospitals will only accept sterile supplies, although it's hard to say since a lot of them have fallen on really hard times recently. And to add to that, if you or anybody in your house is currently sick, I'm sure the local hospitals appreciate the thought, but you're probably okay to sit this one out although no doubt there are likely charities that would gladly accept donations. However, if you're prepared to take on the challenge and decide to devote some of your printer's time to helping out the cause, I would highly recommend going and reading some articles or watching some videos dedicated specifically to the subject. Also, if you know of a good source of information on the topic, feel free to leave it down in the comment section below and I will try to add any helpful links I can to the description of this video. Anyway, that's all for now. Links to all of the models I mentioned in this video should be in the video description below. If you have any personal favorite suggestions for things to print that I didn't mention here, feel free to leave them down in the comments section. I know my videos aren't usually that interesting to watch, so I figured I'd try a few new things out to see how that goes over. But anyway, let me know what you think of the new format. 
If this video was at all helpful, interesting, or entertaining to you, feel free to click the like or subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.